All right, guys, good afternoon. It's Scott and Andrew from AJ Aircraft, and we're here today to talk about the brand new 92-inch Raven. Um, and the nice thing about the Raven is it comes with two different wing options. So you can get it with a double tapered wing or the straight leading edge wing. It's purchasable with both wings, meaning you either buy it as uh, the double tapered or you buy it with the edge. And today, Andrew's gonna sit and talk to us a little bit about the difference in wings. So, Andrew? All right, so like Scott said, it's 92 Laser, or 92 Raven. Um, so when we were looking for an airplane, I kind of wanted to find something a little different, like we tried to do. The Raven's been done before, but we wanted to put our own little twist on it. And if a lot of people have seen um, the full-scale Raven, or uh, Ryan's Rebel 2300 as it started, it actually has been flown with both wings. So when Wayne Handling was flying, he flew with a double tapered wing, and then he went ahead and built an edge wing. So I thought it'd be a good idea for us to do that with our model. So out testing, what we did is we, we started off with double tapered wing. It's very similar to the laser wing. And then we wanted to work into this edge type wing. And what that's done is that's given us a little bit slower um, stall speed, doesn't track like the double tapered wing, which you'd expect, but install is really, really nice. Um, and what I've also known with the airplane is I've repositioned the wings per per wing. So you can take this wing, the the edge wing, and put it right on the laser wing. And we've moved the actual position in the wing so the CG will change um, according to the wing, but you won't have to change the thing in the airplane. And the reason it is because it's straight leading edge wing, it has, the center of pressure is a little higher, so it's a little further forward, so I brought the wing back. And it actually is really cool to be able to have a, a, um, a laser type wing, go out and fly, do some really cool straight line and some active stuff, or put the edge wing on, down low, slow, 3D. That, that's a really fun difference, and in testing it, it's been really good. Mixing's all about the same, one or two percent. Um, it's just a really fun airplane. It's a little bit smaller than the 93 Laser. So that's one thing we want to do, you know, get a little more power to the airframe, but still have that light floating feel. And I think that's what we've accomplished with it. So I'm really excited to, uh, to have this one come out. So Andrew, this plane is still designed around the 70cc DA engine? Correct. So we're, we're flying it on the DA70, two into one. Um, that's what we did all the testing on. I know it'll fly on the 60 mm -hmm. um, with a pipe. It's got a canister tunnel, which you could knock out the back and put a pipe in it like we've done on some of the other stuff. But, but again, it's made for that 70, just a really smooth motor. Um, tons of tons of pull. So I've been really, really happy with it. Well, um, any, and then we um, sort of changed the rudder to be a little bit more scale? Yeah, so I went ahead and I kind of had them round this a little bit more full scale. The first one we had was a pretty sharp taper and it just didn't fit the Raven airplane. So we had them round the leading edge and round the trailing edge of the rudder just to give it that scale appeal. Then we kind of played on the, the Raven scheme. Um, Timmy down in Florida helped us out with the scheme, did a really nice job. We wanted to keep the Raven, but we wanted to give it our own little style, so we went ahead and did that. Um, I think it turned out really good. You know, the top is really different from the bottom. It just shows up really, really well. All right, awesome. Well, this is our new 92-inch Raven. Stay tuned for more details. Look at the, the forums and uh, check us out. Ask questions as needed. And uh, we look forward to this should hit in uh, uh, beginning, beginning of February. February. Right? Ready to ship beginning of February. Ready to ship beginning of February. So um, stay tuned for more details and uh, have fun.